Hello everyone, I'm Soylent Will and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. And we had talked to Moira, I actually just off screen just sold her all the stuff left in my inventory, mainly just food that I don't want. So, I don't think we need to rob her, really. Either way, so, I'm just kind of looking around. Yeah, she's just got plates and some tin cans. Definitely not worth losing my karma over. But we were going to go to the Super Duper Mart for her, I believe. But there's still stuff for us to do here. Who are you? Just a Megaton Settler? Lovely. Okay, well, we're still trying to get to Moriarty. Saloon! This is the way. This is the way. Okay, this is not the saloon. That is the bathrooms. Let's go to the saloon. I think this is uh, very easy. Yes. Okay. Let's test how good I am at these. It's a very easy lock. It takes zero skill, essentially. Ooh, I'm hidden. That's locked average. I don't have that, I don't think, do I? Wouldn't that be 50? Yeah. Okay, I'm detected. Now I'm not. I'm doing this more for the experience than for the password. I'm actually not going to take it. Just yet. And we're going to talk to him. Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty. You've got the caps. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. Sorry about that. I get so clicky sometimes. I'm looking for my father, a middle-aged man. Maybe you've seen him. My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Pretty much. Um, let's see. Look, I just want to find my dad. Do you know where he is? You seem like a nice kid. So sort I'm of. So I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. I do have a hundred caps. Say that. I don't have All it. Right, kid. And I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the caps and we'll talk. Okay, so yeah, he doesn't send me on the mission since I accidentally uh Galaxy News. Oops. Yeah, yeah, by the way. Oops, no, 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 God. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. Let me think about it for a good moment, my good man. I hadn't planned on it. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just, I feel like there's, stop, stop, stop. I'm talking, talking, talking. Um, sorry, Gob. That really ruined everything. Why do you have to have the radio on? Oh, my goodness. Okay, he likes me at least. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. All right. Well, I'm looking for my father, middle-aged guy. Maybe you've seen him. Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Ooh. Let's see here. G give it a roll. I was like you once. All right. I wandered into town looking for an escape from this stupid joke of a body I'm trapped in. Now look at me. Very well. Moriarty keeps a computer terminal in the back. On it. He keeps all of the goings on in Megaton. If you can get onto that terminal, I'll bet he has information on your dad. Now get away from me, smooth skin. If Moriarty even suspects I told you this, I'm a dead ghoul. All right, well, we don't want to get you killed. So let's go ahead and get back to... Oh, we're detected? Okay, I need to start quick saving. So let's do that right now. Did I, did I quick save? Yes. Okay. Now, we'll just be hidden right behind him. And we'll use his computer right from behind him. That's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to enter in my password. I have it. And Mariari's property only. Let's look at the residence. So, Jericho. 
Jericho's been a bad boy. I heard all about him and Jenny Stahl. Tried to slip her some of the old gun barrel while she's yelling no. He's lucky the gun didn't go off, or that would have given the Stahl clan something to crap their pants about. I think he's king of, he thinks he's king of the hill, rather. Walking around Megaton like he does all high and mighty. He tries to pull that as with me and... I'm sorry, I can say shit. <laughs> with me and Jenny, incident goes public. Okay. That's fine. Leo Stahl, who are you? Never trust a junkie. Okay, so Leo Stahl's a junkie. That's what I've learned trying to deal with this piece of work. Well, uh, uh, that's what I've learned trying to deal with this piece of work. He wanders in here higher than a bird in flight and tries to make it with Nova. She slapped him silly after he didn't want to pay. The good girl. <laughs> I almost kicked him out myself, but he staggered out of here. Uh, that guy may be just a straw I need to break Andy's back. Oh, okay. Andy Stahl, this guy's a real piece of work. Opened up a bar in my town? What a jackass. I swear, he's up to something. I'm going to have to think of a way to reduce his business a little. For now, I still got my secret weapon. Nova, the best refreshment in town. That's kind of gross. Um, Billy Creel, who's that guy? That Nuka-Cola swilling prick. What's wrong with Nuka-Cola? Let's see, parading around his little daughter, Maggie, in quotations around all for everyone to see like a proud father yeah right found her wandering in the wasteland my left ass cheek i bet old betty fed maggie's parents that buckshot sandwich himself then added the little girl to his trophy collection in that shithole he calls home i better keep my eye on him wow dude you think very highly of people don't you and doc church church thinks he's a freaking badass everybody Runs everybody runs to him to get a damn wood splinter if he just laps their cap laps up their caps like a drunk drowning in alcohol downing alcohol. Ah, okay, I can't read today. If people only knew he used to be a medic for the slavers at the Paradise Falls, they'd run his sorry ass right out of town. But I think I'll keep that little nugget tucked away for later use. Referring to it as a little nugget. Visitors, Mr. Burke. Wait, I didn't look at it, though. Okay, hang on. I'm reading about Mr. Burke. This guy is a class A weirdo. One day, I'm wiping down the bar, and the effort comes in from nowhere. He didn't even open the... He didn't even hear the door open. I didn't even hear the door open. He tells me he's here to wait for some uh, sort of an opportunist to come through. Whatever. As long as he pays for his drinks, he can stay here. Until that damn bomb explodes in the center of town, for all I care. Oddly, you bring it up that way. Now it should show, right? So out of nowhere, James comes back to Megaton. Since he stayed here before, he asked me where the hell he could get a lay of the land and find out what's going on in the world. I told him about Galaxy News Radio and the ruins of DC and that guy Three Dog. Then like that, he was gone. I remember the first time he showed up almost 20 years ago. I never expected someone to actually want to be able to get into a vault, but he must have had his reasons. He had his kid with him, some baby. That wouldn't shut the F up. Normally, I would have kicked someone like that out of my place. Wow. But he did have, a, he had his way with words. Then, like that, he ducks it into Vault 101 and he's gone for almost 20 years. Nice guy, I guess, but never spends enough caps. All right, well, let's look at the tabs. Jericho's got 32 caps, deadbeat bastard. Doc Church owes 14. Uh, Nathan's got 8. And Stockholm owes 8. Fantastic. I think that's all we got. Let's leave. And now we're not sneaking anymore. All right. Whoa, we're going right up, moving right along. Hey there, Mr. Burke, flagging me down. My, my. Just when I'd all but given up. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Hmm. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Finally. Someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this 
megaton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Wait, you're going to destroy the town? No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. That was kind of creepy the way he said that. Okay, I have a proposition of my own. Would you like to hear it, Mr. Burke? Color me intrigued. Go on. No, 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 no. You see here, I live here, lover, and surely you wouldn't want to hurt me. Well, I, I mean, I, of course not. I must admit, I've never met a woman quite like you before. This changes everything. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell Tenpenny. I'll think of something. You wait here, my dear. I have some important business to attend to. But you won't be waiting long. I shall send for you soon. Glad you're back. Very interesting. And it's Nova. Don't look at me like that. Okay, how should I look at you? Let's see. I'm looking for my father. Oh, that just doesn't even matter. Let's see. So what's it take to hire you? No, 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 no. Let's see. What were you saying about the radio stations? Huh? Oh, you mean why was God banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on a loop or something. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. What's all this about Galaxy News Radio? You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. <laughs> All right, well, I have to Take go now. Yourself, hun. Okay, you too, hon. And we already talked. I really appreciate you doing this for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go now. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. You know, you're welcome. I'll get to it when I get to it. Okay, well, that's enough with Moriarty's. What do we got over here? Billy Creel's house. What, what was it? Easy? I think I can do that, right? Quick save. Okay, maybe more this way. Not too bad. Is he home? I hope not. Doesn't he have... Let's see. Ooh, Song of the Lightman. Can I listen to that? Um, data. Notes. Song of the Lightman. Oh, I can't listen to it. It just has words. All right. Well, maybe someday we'll figure out how it goes. What else do we see here? Moriarty's info on dads. Yeah, we already read that. Moriarty's past. Lots of caps. How about that? Greetings from Point Lookout. Okay, so that's DLC. Now we've looked at all of our notes. I was hoping I could play and listen to the song. Oh, well. And we're hidden. I don't think crutchy mutt fruit is worth stealing. Nuka Cola's probably, though. Tell you that much. Okay, what else might you have worth stealing? This is your bed. Empty suitcase with it. What's in your fridge? You know, let's just go ahead and exit. I don't need to take any of that stuff. Do you have anything actually good? That's, I don't know, that's decent. We'll just remember that's there at least, right? If needed. 
He's not home. He's got another bed up here. Kind of want to know him, but... Ooh, a pre-war book. Guardians of Gillifron. I'm stealing stuff, and I don't even know why. Okay. Whatever shall we do, Mrs. Wollingsworth? Molly asked. Mother will be home shortly, and I've yet to clean my room. Yes, okay, I don't think I'm going to read it all. Uh, you guys vote in the comments if you want me to go through and read all of those things. Because I will if you want, but I doubt most the majority of people want that. So the desk is empty. I think I've pretty much robbed the man of whatever he has. Okay, well that's fine. I don't think we need to sneak anymore. Okay, so there's restrooms over there. Where does this lead? Ooh. Is this like a house or something? Or is it just a big obstacle in the way of stuff? Maybe it's structural support somehow? A little balcony? I don't know. Don't ask me. Who are you? Hi, I'm Maggie. Oh, okay. I, I heard about you. Billy Creel. Do you know him? He's not my dad or anything. But he takes care of me now. Anyway, I should go. Bye. <laughs> uh, who takes care of you? Billy does. Have you met Billy? Billy Creel? A I long, long time went in his house. He saved me from raiders. Oh, that's cool. They killed my real parents. But Billy showed up before they got me. And now he's like my daddy. Sort of. Okay. What do you think of Megaton? It's okay, I guess. I used to live way far away when I was little, before Billy found me. Who else is around town? I don't talk to most of them. Billy says that I have to be careful, even when people seem nice. And I'm especially not allowed to talk to Mr. Jericho. That's probably good advice. He's with Harden most days, when his dad isn't taking him out to learn to shoot or something. Billy says that he's going to teach me to shoot one day, too. Cool, cool. I have to go now. Bye, lady. Hey, Harden. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Okay. Well, then, good job on not doing it. Where else are we heading here? Checking out Megaton. Megaton, what are you, what are you, what are you, back to... This is Jericho's house. I am detected by who? Who's over here? Who's detecting me? Why am I detected? Oh. It's you. Oh, it's Jericho. Oh, look. Another one of you wasteland assholes. <laughs> okay, asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. I see why she's not allowed to talk to you. You don't look like you belong here. What's your story? There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. I was a real bastard back then. But I put all that behind me. You ever considered getting back out there? Back out where? Out there in the wastes, man. You must be bored to tears in this town. I left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah, killing, stealing. Sounds fun, doesn't it? You know, I do miss it sometimes. It's a life of freedom, you know? But come on, I'm a washed up old raider. What crew is going to take me on? These kids don't know nothing about respect. You should come with me. I could use a hand. No offense, kid. But you're not exactly the type I'm used to running with. I've heard about you. A little goody two-shoes out of the vault. I don't think our styles would really mesh. Nah, it ain't so bad here. I got some good memories, but that's all I got. No sense in ruining the good ones, you know? Okay. My karma is too high. Let's see here. What do you know about the wasteland? Your fucking business. Thank you. I appreciate that. Did I miss something? What's your problem with me? You're from the outside. And I've lived too much of my life out there to trust every jackass nobody that wanders in from the wasteland. You seem all right, though. So I'll cut you a deal. I'll answer your questions so long as you don't give me any more reason to distrust you. Got it? Got it. So, what do you know about the Wasteland? I've said just about all I'm going to say about that. Okay. 
What do you do around here? Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. <laughs> I saw you had a big sure, tab. I'm the best shot in town with a rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. <laughs> okay. What's the word around town? A little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. Go for the top shelf on me. Oh, 20 caps. Look at the big spender. All right, then. I can see you're in it for the big money. So I'll tell you all about Moriarty's. Well, I've been there. Moriarty, he's a rat fuck bastard for sure. But he's also paranoid as all hell. So paranoid that he don't let no one handle the cash around here. Every night he takes what Gob and Nova earn and locks it in a file cabinet next to his bed. That's good information. So where's the key? It's dangling around Colin's neck. Get it. If you can. Interesting information. Why haven't you robbed him? My robbing days are over, kid. I'm just here to drink and stink. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sounds risky. What if he catches me? He'll probably blow your head off. That is, unless you can draw faster than a pissed off Irishman. How fast can a pissed off Irishman draw? Let's see. Thanks for the info, Jericho. Anytime. Okay, I have to go now. Come back if you need something. Are you going in your house? Get some empty whiskey bottles. Makes sense. Who's detecting me? This is not fair. Who is it? Who sees me? Who sees me and cares about it? Okay, I'm hidden. Let's see here. All right, we're in. Ooh, knocking stuff down. What's that? Grognak the Barbarian. How about that? Okay, okay, okay. There's something else in here I want to think. Oh, right there. Chinese officer's sword. It's not in great condition, but you know, take what you can get at this stage. And then I should be looking at value to see if I do want to steal anything. Man, he's got... Ooh, I'll take that pistol. What's in here? Just plates? You know, make sure that he knows his house was rummaged. Okay. Take most of that. What's in this metal box? Go ahead. Okay, cart. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take both of those, honestly. Um... I forget it's stealing, so I'm like losing karma for all of this. He's got a teddy bear. Aw. Heavily relatable. Let's see here. Is that about all I want from your place? It looks like it. Okay. Well, I don't need to be sneaky anymore. Just leave your house. Thanks so much. I appreciate all that. I'll appreciate all of that there, Jericho. Ooh, requires a key. We might be able to go get that key. Why don't we go get that key? Do we have repair for this? Probably not. Leave it alone. What is our repair? Stats. Skills. Repair is at 25. We need to get to 30. Don't we have... If we put on this... We're at 30. Attempt to fix it. Bam! Fix the leaky pipe. You know what? We could start on that too. There, I can see one up there. Okay, well, I'm supposed to be doing this, so... Activate the... Let's see. Attempt to disarm the bomb. You have successfully disarmed the bomb. Yeah, whoa! Didn't expect you to be, like, right there, pal. Lucas Sims. Okay, I just saw him. He was just, like, right here. No, that's not him walking away. Oh, he's walking back up here, like he does. Aw. Mr. Sims. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Yep, I did. 
And all without asking for pay, too. Hell, why don't you move in? Here's the key and the deed to an empty house. Consider yourself a Megaton citizen. Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Yay, I have a house! Let's see. I have to go now. Take care now. I got a level! Yay! Okay, so that's interesting. So I think what we want to do here is... Man, I've been enjoying that speech. That science needs to go to 50, though. Let's just go ahead and do that. I know we have something to raise it, but... What's the... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lockpick could probably start moving that way. Yeah. Small guns, get that to 30. Get lockpick. Yeah, to 45, because I think we can wear that jumpsuit and it bumps it up to 50, right? Okay, do we have any good perks? Just gives me additional points. Just gives me additional points. Swift learner. Additional points. I think I'm going to go intense training. That or swift learner. I mean, I know what I'm taking next level, so. That feels wrong. But I'm going to do it. Yeah. Why not? Mr. Lucas Sims. Am I allowed in your house by any chance? I am. Yay. There's something in here, I think. That I really want. Where is it? Where is it? Is it in your room, right? Right there. The strength bobblehead. Yay. I'm now at a whopping two strength. That's a good bobblehead. All right. This is oddly close to the layout of my house that I'm going to live in, which we should probably go check out. Well, we'll check out the house and then we'll go probably fix the pipes and then we might call it an episode. Well, let's go check out our home here. I don't see why not. We could drop some stuff off too, right? Use key. Wadsworth. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Wow, um, I'd like something to drink. Certainly, madam, here you are. Again. Certainly, madam, here you are. Again. Certainly, madam, here you are. Again. Certainly, madam, here you are. Once more? Certainly, madam, here you are. I think five's all you get. I'm sorry, madam. My condensation collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. Proto Codsworth, right? Let's see here. Um, where can I buy things? We might as well get your lines anyways, right? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. Speak with Moira Brown at Craterside Supply here in Megaton. She has quite a selection of items to enhance your living space. I don't need a haircut. Tell me a joke. Two atoms are in a bar. One says, I think I lost an electron. The other says, are you sure? To which the other replies, I'm positive. Very, very clever. I like it. Oh, I can have him tell me more jokes? My Oh, okay. I was about to say. The humor emitter array. I need to get one of those installed. We can just look at this. Certainly. I am programmed with a multitude of hair shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one, I would be happy to replicate it for you. Okay. Hairstyle. We like shaved. The Iron Maiden ain't bad. Yeah, the fairy tales. Little devil. She 
she's got some like joker hair going on the unsettler the pretty puff sarge ain't bad buzz cut no we just go shaved we're done yes okay i think that's all if for wadsworth you require further, feel free to ask, madam. i really appreciate it and over here i think let's see those i could use to repair right but i don't really need to yet so let's put that guy in there that sword can go away we're not using it yet i think i'll just save the jumpsuit plus one charisma isn't all that much was that like plus two to speech or something like that that can just stay and live there for right now okay oh yeah i can i've got three bobbleheads intelligence strength and medicine that's pretty sweet right okay over here i think i'm gonna put the random stuff right that i'm gonna use for crafting or something else let's see conductor i think i need that guy that guy Yeah, I'll just hold on to those. That I'm going to sell. Put my food in here. Do I have any food? I think I sold a lot of it. Let's check my aid. What do I got on me? Oh, we could put some beer and stuff in here, right? Got... Lighten up our weight a little bit here. I don't think we need all of this. There's no, like, survival mod or anything going like that where I need to drink. Sugar bombs, I think, should actually go with the other stuff. I forgot about that. The whiskey, I'm just going to sell. Very well. Very well. And I've got a bunch of random stuff. That's fine for now. We'll probably purchase something. Yeah, I can get radiation for free. Let's go up here, though. We can get our well-rested bonus on top of our new bonus, right? Ooh, open desk. I'll take that. Well, you know what? I will take it all. Because in the desk, I'm going to put... What was it I was going to put in the desk? Oh, yeah. The pre-war books and the pre-war money. They can stay in... They can live there. And I'm going to sleep in my own bed for one hour, which gets me well-rested, right? I am now well-rested. Fantastic. Giving me even more bonus experience. Well, let's go and find the other two leaks. I know there's one right up there. Where's the other one? Perceivably towards this way? Perhaps. Yep, it's right there. And then we have to go up a bit to get to that other one. But let's get this one first. Alright, pipe. Attempt to fix it. We've fixed it. Now I think maybe this way is going to be a good way up to that thing. Let's try. The pipe was up here, I think, right? Try and get above it and then maybe jump to it. What do you think? Is that a plan? Is that... Wait, no, that's the... There it is. Can I sneak under there? I don't care if I'm detected, honestly. Well, interact with it. Fix it. Yay! Now we'll go get some... Like, what? 20% more experience? If when we go and turn this in, right? Oh, no! Okay, I thought I was about to, like... These feeble bones. Okay, either way. We were going to go to... Use me as your vessel. Use me as your vessel. Okay, so the luxury home was there. Where is the water processing plant? That's a saloon. Where's... Where's Craterside Supply? Let's head up here. Watch, we're going to run out of this uh, well-rested bonus before I can find the water processing plant. That's most likely what's going to happen. It's not there, is it? That's Billy Creel's house, I think. Um, That's the commons. Up here? Yeah. This is it, right? Oh, no. That's Billy Creel's house. Well, that's confusing. Is this it? No, that's Moriarty's Saloon. Was it the thing I thought was Billy Creel's house down here? 
right? No, because this this isn't right. This is Lucy West's house. Well, I used to know this town quite a bit, to tell you the truth. And now I have no idea where the water processing plant is. I thought it was just, you know, not too far from Craterside Supply. Which is going to be over here, right? There's that armory thing we haven't checked out, but we don't really have the tools to really truly check it out. Okay, crater side supply. And then if we run up here, I think that's going to be towards where we got the water processing plant. This should be correct. Yes, there you are, sir. Give me experience. Yeah, what is it? Pipes are all fixed. I'll be. The pressure's up in the plant. It looks like all the leaks have been fixed. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. But listen, it's only a matter of time before they burst again. And someone like you might not be around to fix them. I'll make you a deal. I'll give you caps for any scrap metal you can bring me. You'll find it all over the place out there in the waste. If I have a steady supply of scrap, I can keep the plant running and the pipe should be just fine. We got a deal? Sounds like a deal. Sounds good to me. I'll bring you the parts I find. Good. This just keeps looking better. Those parts will keep this place running and the town in fresh water. Hurry back as soon as you find some. Yeah, I don't think I have any scrap metal on me. So, lovely. Well, that's probably a good place to end the episode. Yeah.